Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Pisces. Hello Pisces, welcome to your November 2014 Tarot Scope Mini Astrology Reading and Animal Totem Card. Okay, let's start shuffling up the cards for Pisces, November 2014, and see what we get. Okay. All right. Well, talking about sun in reverse, so sometimes that means <clears throat> that your life force is a little bit diminished or weakened. You've been feeling maybe down lately, down in the dumps. Uh, let me get a few more cards for this bottom row, and then we'll... I think I need a couple more. All right. Let's take a look. Okay, so these are the first cards up here, and it's talking about, um, yeah, the sun in reverse, so I'm feeling a little drained, I'm feeling a little out of sorts. Um, this is also about a breakthrough, though. This is about doing something that you love just because you love doing it, and then maybe receiving money for it. Um, he receives money, but he, that's not why he does it. He's so into what he's doing, and making it right, and making it perfect. And it's talking about a breakthrough. You know, Ace of Swords is a triumph and victory and a breakthrough after a time of darkness or where the outlook seemed grim, there could be a big breakthrough here. You know, something this just occurred to me to say, and I, I don't know why, but I'm going to say it. Maybe it'll help enough of you or have to do with enough of you out there. This feels like maybe um, it could be a health issue. And maybe you're going to uh, find something, uh, someone who is uh, developing a new experimental therapy or maybe it's just saying you need to take time to do what you really like to do and then uh, to find a joy in life where it's not all drudgery and draining of you and that um, that's going to bring you, make you feel better and therefore make your health better and everything else that goes with it. Okay, so uh, justice has been in reverse. Justice has not been done or an injustice has been done to you. And that can also uh, apply here. This can be like a victory or triumph because of uh, you've been treated unfairly and then you go and you have your victory, you have your day. Um, talking about really a, a lot about relieving stress out of your life. You notice that this lines up, boom, boom, boom. This is about, so this card in itself is about self-imposed stress and limitations that we put on ourselves. It's not... Um, she surrounds herself in all these things, and these are all the problems or all the reasons why I can't move forward, and, and I'm bound by these. And blinded, blinded to the truth, blinded to the truth that you can really walk out of this at any time. So um, this is draining your energy here. You've got to stop worrying. Stress is a killer. It's a terrible thing. Um, yes, there could be disappointing news coming. We've got some pages in reverse and stuff. So yeah, maybe there's some disappointing news, but um, you just got to roll with it. And you got to just trust in the universe and know that, hey, if that, if that didn't pan out, then it's just because that wasn't for me, you know. And um, maybe there's something else that is for me that coming up. Not maybe, there definitely is, you know, something even better. Now, the King of Rods is in reverse looking at this stuff over here. Um, this is talking about, again, you feeling not being treated uh, fairly or not getting the respect or acknowledgments that you deserve. And you do deserve them. This isn't just in your own mind, you know. This is saying, yes, um, you did do a good job, or you were the best, uh, but you weren't chosen, or you didn't get uh, the thing that you were supposed to. A lot of times this is about like a raise or promotion. Or, you know, you're, you're planning on, I'm supposed to get this raise or promotion, I don't get it. It can be maybe I'm trying to get a job and I don't get it. And they may have strung you along for four Four years, four months, four weeks. Maybe you worked there for four years and it's just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm leaving. You know, there's a lot of stuff down here about leaving. 
or maybe you know you've been to four interviews this has been going on for four weeks and then they you know he calls you now i say he because it represents as this king of rods but of course as we know it could be any fem male female anybody um but king has the power right so somebody who has the power they're the, I feel very strong that they are the one who is implementing this or has the power to promote you or hire you or not, you know. So it looks like it may be a not. But that's okay. And, and follows up, here's you, Queen of Cups. So whether you're male or female, it's a water sign person. This is representing you. And you're going forward. And you're going forward to your true uh, thing that you really want to do. And you're calling. And, uh, you know, these line up, too, if you look at it this way. There's something that you do love to do, okay? And it, maybe it's time to head towards that, you know. Uh, page of Cups, not only are the pages are getting news that you're not that happy with or whatever, and it, Cups could be in the time of Scorpio, which we are rolling into, we will be in in November here, when you're watching the video. We go moving from the uh, Sag, uh, Scorpio towards Sagittarius during the month of November. This is also your intuition, your inner guidance, which Pisces has in abundance, okay? So in reverse, it can say that, you know, you know you love doing this, and, you know, if money didn't matter, then I, this is what I'd be doing for sure. Uh, but maybe it's time to just say, you know, I don't care. Stop putting obstacles in front of yourself and just go for it. You know, I, I want to say that, you know, Grandma Moses didn't paint her first painting until she was, like, in her 80s or something like that. So it's like it's never too late. And that was however 100 years ago or whatever it was, you know. Um, this is a different day and we're living longer. So, you know, it's, it's, I've, I'm feeling of that kind of vibe too. Oh, well, I'm too old for that. Well, that was okay to dream about or do, you know, when I was a kid or whatever. But now, now I'm a grown-up with grown-up responsibilities. Boulder Dash, poppycock. <laughs> Those are some crazy words. Who's saying that? Where's that coming from? Uh, but that's what I want to say. You know, it's like, uh, no. Don't believe that. There is an opportunity, Ace of Rods. It's a seed plant that can blossom and grow into something that you're wanting. Note that the Queen of Cups, you, have your back turned towards it. You have your back turned towards the uh, Ace of Rods. So you're not really seeing it. I th it looks like you're not seeing it, but you know you got to move on. You, you do see this. It's like, it's time for me to move on. You don't see the, maybe you're not seeing the opportunity. But that doesn't mean it's not there. It's right next to you. You know, it's, it's right next to you. So, uh, and this could also be fire, too, because this is uh, cup rods, water, fire, Scorpio, Sag. Okay, so it could be as we move into Scorpio, which is like on the 22nd of the month. Um, yeah, will you meet with opposition? Yeah, most definitely. You know, it's not like you wave a magic wand and you have a perfect light. But um, will it be a better thing? Yeah, most definitely. Um, and the uh, Ten of Rods in reverse, a load is lifted off your back. A burden that you've been carrying around, you don't have to carry that load anymore, okay? You can be, it's, a, it's a, very much about freedom. It's very much about stopping worrying and following your true heart here. I think this is going to be a time for you to just really do it. Okay, and Neptune is in your sign. I was trying to think of some of the transits. I know Neptune is in the sign of Pisces, and that's a transit that I don't think anybody has seen. Oh. I'm skipping ahead of the totems. I forgot about the chart. Let's look at this chart before we go there. Talking astrology, but grabbing the wrong tools here. Okay, so Pisces on the Ascendant. First thing that's happening on the 6th is a full moon in your third house. So news could be revealed to you. Absolutely. Uh, you could hear news. Maybe it is going to be disappointing. Maybe it's not what you wanted. But that doesn't mean that what you want isn't happening. If this one little thing doesn't go your way, maybe it's some good news too. But news could be coming. You have enlightenment or you'll hear the answer. You could get a lot of your answers could come through emails, texts, phone calls, etc. on the 6th. And then the next thing that's going to be happening is the um, new moon on the 22nd, zero Sagittarius. That's also when the sun changes signs. That's like that critical degree energy, right? And then that is going to be, excuse me, uh, that's in your 10th house of career. So definitely a new moon having to do with uh, career. And uh, 10th house, it's more, it's not your job. 6th house is your job. 6th house is your work and your job. Oops, Leo for Pisces. 10th house um, is your career. Okay, it's your aspirations in life. Where do you want to be? Your big, the big plan. You know, it's not, well, something you have to toil at necessarily. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and... Um, 
Ru shuffle up the. I was gonna say ruffle up these cards. Ruffle, shuffle. <laughs> what was I thinking of? Uh, toil and trouble. What's that uh, thing? Something, something. Toil and trouble. The the three uh, muses or the three crones. Oh, a bunch of cards are falling out. I'm only gonna shuffle till I get one animal totem. So let's pull up just one. See, I got more than one in my hand. Show me one card, please, for Pisces, November 2014. Chickadee. We've had this before. I brought up uh, last time W.C. Fields, my little chickadee. Okay, so as always, you can, uh, if you're interested in animal totems, you can definitely look this up on your own to get further information. Or if you're interested in animal totems, I do offer a really cool chart, too, that um, has... Uh, it's a Native American astrology. It's really cool, and it gives all your animal totems. You can find that on the order page. But at any rate, I'll be back in a minute to give my take on chickadee, so stay tuned for that. The chickadee is a sign of spring. It's about planting our seeds and new beginnings. The other thing is that they sing a happy song. You may want to ask yourself, what type of song are you singing? Are you singing that same old song or telling that same old sad story? If so, you're probably going to get the same results. The chickadee is a time of singing happy songs to bring happiness and joy in your life and planting the seeds to bring new things for a better life for tomorrow. Okay, before we go, I want to make sure I tell everybody about my book, Tarot in the Modern World. If you're using these videos to kind of help you learn tarot, well, this would be like the study guide, okay? Um, it gives upright and, I give upright and reverse positions, easy to understand, uh, and I also give it how it means accompanied by other cards. So that's kind of gets you on the path of really doing a whole reading as I do when I um, relating the cards to each other as I do in the videos. Also, don't forget to check out the Tapestry of Life Mandalas or Tantras, I think I'm going to be calling them from now on. It's this beautiful art that I make. It's based on your chart. It is a labor of love. It takes me a long time to do these, but it's just such a beautiful thing, and no two are alike. It's, it's totally like a, a, a picture of your soul, you might want to say. And also check out some of my other channels. You know, besides the uh, Tarot uh, Rock and Roll Prophetess uh, channel I have here, I do have a couple other channels. One that includes a lot of my original music and me as a keyboard player, which I've been doing for years and years. And then secondly, the Learning Songs for Kids, which has all sorts of children's videos that I wrote the music and I do the animation and, you know, it's just like a whole thing. It's uh, Learning Songs for Kids with featuring the Green Glen Gang, which, um, you know, they are uh, crusaders for the environment. I've been drawing and uh, creating these guys for years and years and years and... Um, I want to get them out there. And secondly, I have some holiday music. If anybody would like to record any of my songs, I would be thrilled to have that happen as well. Uh, thank you again for watching my videos and liking and commenting and sharing. I really enjoy all your feedback. Thank you so much for donating. You know, by donating, that gives me incentive to keep going forward with these free readings every month and bringing them to you free of charge on YouTube. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.